Um, we first started thinking about writing the new record probably about maybe 10 months, 11 months ago. And um, it started off quite slowly as new album writing tends to do because you're trying to find your footing and find out which direction you want to take it in. Um, so once we got that initial song out of the way, then we, uh, we progressed quite quickly and it maybe it took just just 10 months to write the album, which is quite, sounds a long time, but it's probably quite short for us. We usually take at least a year. Uh, some songs come together quicker than others. Um, um, on this record, we've got kind of an interesting song um, that was initially a song that we played live in 1989, and we haven't ever played or heard since. But I had an old cassette tape of two thirds of it, um, so I decided to resurrect that and then finish it off with new riffs that I've just made up. So it's kind of half from 1989 and half from 2017, so that, that was kind of an interesting one to do. Um, the rest, yeah, some, some easier than others. Um, it's, a, it's kind of very, very riffy, this album, so um, it, it, the writing process was very much more with emphasis on, on the guitar work rather than anything else. Uh, we've tried out lots, lots of things over the years, lots of different musical styles. Um, and a lot of people say that our style at the moment has come full circle. But I like to think we still um, mess around and try out different things in our music today. Um, I'd say the new album, if anything, is it's still going down the heavier route. Um, but I'd say that there's a little bit of a retro side to it, especially sound-wise. We've gone for a very, very big... Um, kind of room, roomy drum sound on it and quite a fuzzy guitar tone so it's, it has a bit of um, that retro vibe in with the doom metal, you know. Um, we all have a very similar sense of, sense of humour in the band and um, when we're recording or when we're on tour we all watch the same kind of things. Um, it's usually Steve Coogan stuff, um, so traditionally it was Alan Partridge or something like that, but um, over the last few years, Saxondale has overtaken Partridge for me, we just watch it all the time and can quote every part of it. Um, Ricky Gervais is, is great, um, apart from most of his movies, um, but his, his TV work's pretty good. Um, and then just classic British comedy, really, you know, it's anything that's very dry humour, I, I would say, you know. 